Now, the league, why are they, or I should say Bengals Nation, why are they angry? It's because the league chose not to follow the NFL rulebook on this one, which should have been using winning percentages for seeding if a game is canceled, which is what happened here. Instead, Bengals got the short end of the stick, to say the least. Now, here's how it plays out. If the Ravens win on Sunday and they earn an immediate rematch with the Bengals in the wildcard round, then it would be decided by a coin flip, the host would. The league calls this a fair resolution since the Bengals would have played one less game but still win the AFC North, even though the Ravens would have beaten them twice. I know it's clunky, but Zach Taylor and company, they're saying that it is anything but fair. The normally mild-mannered head coach said he was defending his team today with this. In an off-camera interview, Taylor made his case. He wants the rules to be followed, saying it's black and white in the rule book. So now when we point out the rules and you are told we are going to change that, I don't want to hear about fair and equitable when that is the case. So here's how the locker room feels about this heads or tails scenario. First time ever for everything. It's a little different. Yeah, so that's what it comes down to. That's what it comes down to, but we're trying to do our part. Yeah, it's what the NFL decided. I think it's an, that's a pretty old school precedent in football. I think that's been a, I mean, we can take that back all the way to Friday Night Lights with the coin flips. So, um, you know, well, we need to take care of business to avoid it. So if it comes down to it, it does. But that is not my plan as of right now. So you heard Ted compare it to the scene from Friday Night Lights, and we're not sure if that coin toss would take place in an undisclosed gas station in Texas or not, because actually the logistics of who and how that coin toss could play out, they weren't shared with us today in a meeting with NFL executives. So there's still right. a lot of confusion. Obviously, it's set in stone now. The, all the Bengals can do is win on Sunday, and this scenario won't affect them at all.